what I wish I had known when I was coming up. It just has to do with ways of learning and processes that you go through. And related to that, I know this sounds strange, but I, I think you have to suppress your ego. And by ego, I don't just mean this, I don't mean arrogance. But there is something wrapped up in that. I think that it's very difficult to just give yourself over to something and to say, okay, I can't do this at this point. So what do I need to do? And being totally honest about what you can't do. Because sometimes it's like, you know, again, I, you could use a million examples of these things, but let's, I'm gonna use something very concrete, like I'm working on a difficult passage, you know? And, you know, you just keep hammering away, keep hammering away at it and stuff. And you're, there's likely some very small mechanical thing that you just, haven't yet addressed and you want to feel like you've already addressed that you feel like you should be past this point and you keep hammering away at things and it's those kind of things that as I've just gotten older you know I tell students all the time you're going to get basically like three lessons from me you know and everything else is going to be just a variant it's like the most complicated thing that we're going to talk about or work on is just a combination of extremely simple things putting those together, gaining mastery of those, or truly what we're talking about, like that fluidity of things, that's what takes so much time because you just have to you like really just hammer in these skills. Or if you're talking on the subject of improvisation or ear training or whatever, you just have to get, they have to become second nature or else you'll never be able to fully pull them out in the moment. But that's kind of, you've got to just like drop the ego, get down to business, you know? If somebody, for example, is having trouble accessing certain types of sounds or notes, or in this case, let's say they want to, they have a scale or a lick they want to use and they just can't get it in there and stuff. One of two things is going on. They either A, they don't really know the scale or the lick or the pattern as well as they think they do, or two, they're, they're not they don't yet have the song or the thing that they're improvising on truly in their in the core of their being like they're still at that point where they're thinking of changes or they're not hearing the song you know or they're still having trouble like rhythmically keeping their place whatever it is there's lots of little things like that and people want again want to be past those things and they take it but sometimes it's just like you got to do all that work till the song in the back, that is second nature. The tools that you're using, those are second nature. That's where I always say, you know, you've got to be like, it's like karate kid stuff, you know? It's like, you got to paint the fence a little bit longer, you know? It's time to wash the car, like, to get these things to that automatic point. With chord progressions and stuff, you have to first master the what I call like the bird's eye view of the song so that you understand the skeleton of it the real simple things like where are all the arrival points where are all the tension moments and once and then you break the song down into like these big chunks like that and then that you have your ears dialed into that so that you can hear that you know whether songs are starting at home base, meaning one, or whether they're starting away, you know, five chords or on a different chord, and how those things function and they move. The more songs you learn, the more you understand that these there are lots of similar chord progressions and there's sort of different flavors of the same thing. But you have to you have to get that bird's eye view of it and really, you know, understand it that way. That again, it's like with with that kind of stuff, when you have a lot of times when people are having trouble improvising, there's a, there's a process problem about the way they're acquiring material. This has been Joe Policastro for Player to Player. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe.